Have you ever wondered what it's like to walk through a city that's both an open-air museum and a bustling modern metropolis? Welcome to Brussels, a place where every corner tells a story, every street echoes history, and yet, it pulses with contemporary life. Today, we're diving into the heart of Belgium to explore its crown jewel, Brussels. From hidden gems to iconic landmarks, we've got the top 10 must-visit spots lined up for you. And if you're as excited about travel as we are, hit that subscribe button and join us on this unforgettable journey through Brussels. Number 10. Mont des Arts Kicking off our top 10 at Mont des Arts, this isn't just a hill, it's a cultural paradise right in the heart of Brussels. Picture yourself here, surrounded by a staggering collection of 10 museums and art galleries, each offering a unique window into the world of art, history, and music. The Magritte Museum alone is a surreal journey through the works of René Magritte, a Belgian surrealist who turned the ordinary into the extraordinary. And don't get me started on the Musical Instruments Museum. It's a melody lover's dream with over 8,000 instruments. The best part, the view from the top at sunset. It's like watching the city light up, one building at a time, turning into a sea of twinkling lights. Number 9. Notre Dame du Sablon At number 9, Notre Dame du Sablon isn't your ordinary church. It's a testament to the grandeur of Gothic and Renaissance architecture. As you step inside, you're greeted by rays of colored light dancing through the intricate stained glass windows, creating a mesmerizing display. Each window tells a story, from biblical scenes to historical events. And let's talk about the breathtaking pulpit, carved to perfection, almost telling a tale of its own. This church isn't just for worship, it's a journey through time and art. After soaking in the architectural beauty, take a stroll outside. The cobbled streets and quaint caves nearby offer the perfect backdrop to reflect on the beauty you've just witnessed. Number 8. Jardin du Petit Sablon Sliding into number 8 is Jardin du Petit Sablon, a gem nestled in the heart of Brussels. This isn't just any garden, it's a historical sanctuary adorned with 48 bronze statues. Each statue represents medieval guilds, showcasing Brussels' rich past and the crafts that shaped the city. As you wander through the garden, you're walking alongside history, with each statue telling its own unique story. The centerpiece? The magnificent Egmont and Horns Fountain, a tribute to two 16th-century noblemen who stood up against tyranny. This garden isn't just a spot for relaxation, it's a tribute to the city's resilience and spirit. Surrounded by lush greenery and the gentle sound of the fountain, it's a peaceful escape from the hustle of city life. Number 7. Mannequin Piss Sitting proudly at number 7 is Mannequin Piss, a little bronze boy with a legendary status in Brussels. This statue, only 61 centimeters tall, packs a huge punch in terms of personality and humor. Did you know he's dressed up in costumes for various occasions throughout the year? With a wardrobe boasting over 900 outfits, including everything from traditional costumes to firefighter gear, he's always ready for a celebration. The best part? Each costume tells a different story about Brussels' history and culture. This quirky statue is more than just a tourist spot, it's a symbol of the city's playful spirit and resilience. Number 6. Royal Museum of Fine Arts Number 6 takes us to the Royal Museum of Fine Arts, an absolute haven for art enthusiasts. This isn't just any art gallery, it's a journey through centuries of artistic genius. Housing an incredible array of works from Flemish masters like Rubens, Van Dyck, and even the Dutch legend Rembrandt, the museum offers a deep dive into the rich tapestry of European art. But it's not all old masters here. You'll also find modern pieces, including surrealistic works by René Magritte, that'll make you see the world in a whole new way. Spread across several buildings, the museum's extensive collection makes it one of the largest in Europe. Number 5. Street Michael and Street Gadula Cathedral At the halfway point at number 5, we have the Street Michael and Street Gadula Cathedral, a striking example of Gothic architecture at its finest. This isn't just a building, it's a masterpiece of craftsmanship and devotion. The cathedral's twin towers stretch skywards, as if reaching for the heavens themselves. Inside, you'll find a rich tapestry of history, from the stunning stained glass windows depicting biblical stories to the intricate carvings adorning the walls and columns. And let's not forget the remarkable organ, which still fills the cathedral with music during concerts. This place is more than a religious site, 
It's a sanctuary of peace and beauty in the bustling heart of Brussels. Whether you're there to admire the architecture, enjoy a moment of tranquility, or delve into its historical significance, the cathedral offers an experience that stays with you long after you've left. Number 4. Town Hall Holding the fourth spot is the Town Hall, and calling it just a building would be a massive understatement. This is a shining example of Gothic splendor right in the heart of Brussels. Imagine towering spires and a facade adorned with hundreds of sculptures, each telling a tale from history. Inside, you'll be transported into a world of luxury from centuries past. The halls are decked with exquisite tapestries, and the ceilings are an artwork in themselves. But the real showstopper, when night falls, the town hall lights up, creating a magical silhouette against the Brussels skyline. It's not just a view, it's a moment where you feel connected to the history and grandeur of this amazing city. Number 3. Belgian Comic Strip Center At number 3, the Belgian Comic Strip Center is a wonderland for anyone who ever lost themselves in a comic book. Here, you step into a world where Tintin, Asterix, and the Smurfs are not just characters on a page, but part of a vibrant legacy. Housed in a stunning Art Nouveau building designed by Victor Horta, the center is a tribute to Belgium's rich history in the comic strip industry. It's interactive, fun, and a colorful journey into the world of your favorite comic heroes. The detailed exhibits not only showcase famous characters, but also delve into the art and evolution of comic strip storytelling. It's a place that connects generations, bringing back childhood memories for adults and creating new ones for kids. Number 2. Atomium and Mini Europe Next up at number 2 is the iconic duo, the Atomium and Mini Europe. The Atomium is a sight to behold, a structure that looks like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie. It's a symbol of Brussels, representing an iron crystal magnified 165 billion times. Inside, you'll find exhibitions, and the view from the top sphere is breathtaking. You can see the city spread out below like a giant map. Just a stone's throw away is Mini Europe. This is your chance to tour the whole of Europe in just a few hours. With over 350 miniatures of famous European landmarks, it's both educational and entertaining. You'll find everything from the Leaning Tower of Pisa to the Eiffel Tower, all in miniature. Number 1. Grand Place And now, the crown jewel of our list. Number 1. The Grand Place This isn't just any public square. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the beating heart of Brussels. Here, history, culture and beauty converge in a spectacular display. The square is ringed by opulent guild halls and the stunning city hall each a masterpiece of architectural grandeur. But what really takes your breath away? The flower carpet event. Every two years, the grand place transforms into a sea of colors with a gigantic carpet made entirely of flowers, attracting visitors from around the world. Whether you're enjoying a quiet coffee in one of the cafes or simply soaking up the vibrant atmosphere, the grand place offers an experience that encapsulates the essence of Brussels. So, there you have it. Brussels, a city that's more than beer and chocolates. It's a blend of history, art, and quirky charm. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe for more travel gems like this. If you want to visit the places in this video, check the first comment below. We have different links where you can get your entry ticket. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.